This is Satirs from ProBloggingSchool.com uh, Today's video I want to talk about paying the price. Uh, quite a few years ago I read a, a book. It was, it was actually a Robert Kiyosaki book. Um, I don't think it was actually one of his um, most popular books, okay? Like it wasn't one of the mainstream ones that a lot of people have maybe read, like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and stuff like that. But um, the thing about the actual book was, in, in the book, you know, um, Robert Kiyosaki basically talked about paying the price. Yeah, paying the price. So um, I'm a great believer of that, you know, in, in your life now, not even on a monetary value, yeah, but in your life, um, you know, there is basically a price for everything, okay? So everything you do or don't do has a, a, a price attached to it. So, you know, let's take, for example, um, you know, there's a price for learning things, a price for not learning things, a price for getting things free, a price for... Um, you know, basically there's there's a price for everything, you know, a price for paying attention, a price for not paying attention. So it's very, very important to sometimes, you know, take a step back and actually look at, you know, what the price of those different things is, for example. Now sometimes people get all tied up in their, you know, in their life and their routine and their schedule and their job. And they don't actually have a chance to actually, you know, sit and think and and like take a look at themselves and and realize the price that they're actually paying every day in their life. Um, a lot of people would sort of say, you know, if you said to them about starting a business or doing something online or something, they would say, you know, well, I don't have time to run a business or it costs too much money to run a business or. You know, they'll make all these different reasons why it can't be done. You know, like it's too high a price to pay. But at the same time, you know, they're willing to go and basically be on call to somebody for their whole life. So, you know, they're willing to have a boss tell them what time to come in to work at, what time not to come in to work at, when to go on their holidays, when to come back to their holidays. You know, they're willing to pay the price um, by not seeing their children grow up. Um, not being able to do the things they want to do and, you know, get underpaid maybe for their whole life. You know, get paid a very mediocre salary or wage and, you know, maybe pay 25 or 40 or 50 percent, depending on where they live, to the government before they actually get to spend any of the money on any expenses or anything. So really, you know, there is a price for everything, you know. Um, everything we do has a price. Um, you know, I always used to hear the saying when I was young, you know, um, ignorance is bliss. And then, you know, I heard one day a Jim Rohn video and it said, what, you know, Jim Rohn said was, um, ignorance is a catastrophe, you know. And I sort of believe that, you know, that ignorance is a catastrophe because when people are ignorant about stuff that's going on in the world, you know, about health things and, you know, the way you know, things that are being done basically, like, you know, vaccines and wars are started for, you know, for basically no reason, just for monetary purposes for the big financial institutions and stuff. And there's so many people who sort of listen to the TV, you know, the media, media and the news and are totally brainwashed by it and they believe everything they're told, you know, they believe that people, um, you know, these five people came and hijacked a, you know, all these airplanes and you know all sorts of stuff uh, you know which is absolutely crazy you know when it was obvious it was like, like a government um, conspiracy to start a war but at the end of the day you know there is a price for everything you know um, you will pay the price you know if you don't understand what goes on in the world you know at some stage you will pay the price you know you can pay your the price in your health you know you can pay the price in your you know, monetary, monetarily, you know, financially, you can pay the price, um, you know, in your own time, you know, basically, you know, by, by sort of giving your life away to someone. I mean, we only get one life. 
So um, basically, excuse me, I have some Hi. Um We only really get one life, you know, so it's the most valuable thing we have and yet people are willing to sell it for a few dollars an hour. Um, and at the end of it, you know, they have really nothing to look forward to except a pension which is promised to them by maybe a government or by some company who really doesn't care about them. You know, they don't have their own best interest at heart. They're, they're sort of... Um, just interested in their their profit at the end of the day so you know it's very important to look at everything you know and, and study everything and listen to other people and be open-minded you know be open minded listen to stuff you know don't just shut something off because you don't believe it's true you know if you've listened to the TV or media saying something and you hear somebody saying the opposite don't just you know say well you know I hear you know, I've heard that on the TV, I don't believe you know, that person, what they're saying, or they're mad, or whatever, you know. Follow up some of the stuff, see what people are saying, see what's going on, what people are saying is going on. And then go and look, do some research yourself, you know. Go on YouTube, go to websites, go to different places, you know. Don't always listen to what um, government websites tell you, or doctors, or whatever. You know, people swear by what, you know, a doctor, or the police, or teachers, or something tell them. And I mean, all they are is program cheap, you know, they're basically taking an agenda from the government and they're you know feeding that to people and um, trying to make people believe that whether it's true or not you know so um, in most cases it's actually completely untrue all the stuff that they're getting you know they're programming people for jobs you know going to school to program them to work in a job for the rest of their life for someone else and um, don't teach them to be entrepreneurs or business people or anything they, they want you to be reliant and to just pay them your money just go to work and pay them 50% you know, so they can spend it. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's very, very important to, um, you know, think about what price you're paying. You know, sometimes by not doing an extra skill or not starting that part-time job that you were thinking of doing, you know, um, it you know, costs you your whole life. It costs you your financial freedom. It costs you being able to live a lifestyle of, you know, abundance. And instead of having a lifestyle of abundance, you end up with a whole life of mediocrity. You know, you live on the poverty line, you know, just getting by your whole life. You don't get to travel, you don't get to see things, you don't get to do things with your family that you wanted to do. And um, because you're busy working for, you know, for a minimum wage. So, you know, always look at different things and, and do different things. Um, and think about what the price could actually be when you're doing it you know don't think about the price of the course you know don't think oh yeah you know I'm doing this uh, course to learn how to make you know money or how to and it's two thousand dollars you know that's crazy and they're ripping me off and this and that because if you think about it in the long term if somebody's made a couple of million and and they gonna charge a thousand or two thousand dollars to teach you what they do you know it's an opportunity for you to change your life and um, you should always look at it with an open mind, you know, instead of just shrugging it off as a con, you know, go and find other people who, you know, who dealt with that person and see, you know, what their results were and so on and so forth. So always look at everything with an open mind and uh, always be willing to pay the price. The one thing that I really got from that book, which was really, really good at the end of it, was normally um, the price is actually twice the price of what people think. Okay, so most people pay the price for job security. They want to be secure, yeah, so they, they get a job um, because they feel, you know, that it basically means they're secure because of job security. But the fact of it is that their job is actually owned by their boss um, and the boss decides when to open or close it or when to fire them, which means they're never really secure. So, um, really by getting a secure job you're paying half the price you know and what happens when you pay half the price is you don't normally get what you paid for okay so the company goes bust um, the the boss sells the company to someone else and they downsize and get rid of all the staff um, you know or the government pensions go down or they steal their money or whatever like in Greece or in all these different countries what they've been doing and what they're going to be doing in the future so um, you know, sometimes you have to pay twice the price. Twice the price might be you might have to struggle a bit. You might have to buy some courses. You might have to learn some new stuff. You might have to learn some new skills. You know, um, 
a lot of people are, you know, one one talent short of being a really successful person. You know, normally it's one thing uh, missing and um, that actually separates them from being successful the successful people from the unsuccessful people so you might just need that one more skill you know you might need to learn how to sell you might need to learn how to market on the internet and um, you might need to learn you know just one more skill and you know give you a completely different outlook on life and a different lifestyle and change your life so always be looking at the price and um, you know make sure you pay the price that you need to to get what you want and don't shortcut don't sit and watch TV and listen to garbage um, you know work your mind learn stuff learn from people who you're doing the things you want to be doing and living the life you want to live and you know things will things will keep on getting better for you so thanks for um, visiting my channel today and I look forward to talking again soon. If you'd like to find out more about me, um, just visit probloggingschool.com and you'll be able to find out what I do there. It's P-R-O-B-L-O-G-G-I-N-G dot com and if you just uh, click the link below this video if you're on the YouTube channel uh, to subscribe to my videos that would be brilliant as well and if you'd like to rate and comment then that would be even better. Thanks very much. I'll talk to you again soon.